Yeah, travel tomorrow, travel on Sunday, and how about Sueños and Grand Park on Sunday getting impacted by these thunderstorms? That's a live look at Buckingham Fountain, which is on. Here's the Sueños concert setup ongoing. Saturday is going to be perfect, but thunderstorm chances on the rise for your Sunday. Now, tomorrow, the first thunderstorms arrive afternoon into the evening time, and a few of these thunderstorms on Friday could be strong or severe. High pressure, though, follows behind, and that's why Saturday is going to be perfect. Low humidity, light winds, sunshine, highs in the 70s, and then here we go again. Another Another opportunity of numerous showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. It looks like the storm system on Sunday even stronger than the one that comes in tomorrow. So we're talking about a damaging wind and even a tornado threat as we head towards your Sunday. Out there right now under a mostly clear sky at 75 and uptown Skokie at 74 degrees. Tinley Park at 82 and the 80s continue as you head out towards the southwestern suburbs with 83 at both Morris and Ottawa. 79 and Rensselaer a little bit of a link breeze. That's why it's in the low 70s right now in Waukegan along the North Shore. Great evening with a clear sky. As temperatures go from near 80 to 70s to 60s in the overnight low 60s here in Chicago for overnight lows. Western northwestern suburbs and parts of northwest Indiana make it into the 50s, but it's a great night ahead. There's no worries for the morning commute when it comes to rain and storms. That's a look at around 7 a.m. But by late morning into the midday hours, we'll look for some thunderstorm chances to build first in the far western suburbs and by early afternoon. Those storms move into Chicago. This particular forecast model showing widespread showers and storms. I think it may be a little bit more on the scattered side, but the bottom line is isolated intense storms possible tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Large hail damage winds, even a rotating storm could produce an isolated tornado. And for your evening plans on Friday, not a washout, but still some scattered opportunities of rain and also some thunder, even by the time we head towards 11 p.m. on your Friday. So our main concern tomorrow comes from damaging winds, secondary threat, a few storms spitting out some large hail. It's there. It's a low threat, but it's there. Something we'll keep an eye on when it comes to tornadoes. And that's why we're looking at a level two out of five on that severe weather scale to account for the damaging wind threat, the large hail threat and an isolated tornado. Make your outdoor plans though on Saturday. Cool sunshine at 77, 73 though, 90% chance of thunderstorms on Sunday. Weather alert posted for the chance of damaging winds and even tornadoes on Sunday. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And most of the rain for Monday, if you're doing some traveling, looks to be on the light side. No severe weather on Monday at 69 for Memorial Day. And then we'll get rid of these rain chances little by little by late Tuesday. And by middle part of next week, we're drying out. So kind of a bumpy holiday weekend, yeah. but at least we have Saturday, which looks like a winner. Can't All right. Wait. Thanks, Albert.